the different approaches of how pricing a home will effectively garner what experience for the seller. So tried and true method is usually pricing your home fair, creating value around that, ensuring that more than one person as a buyer feels that value, you'll find that that will be the best route for you as a seller to get the top dollar and to sell very quickly. Whereas in the inverse, you find that two other main methods that many sellers approach it is one being the old school method where, I, and I get this all the time, I'm the old school guy, Colin, I wanna list my property high and I'll figure it out as we go and I'll meet in the middle. Well, that, if you look at the data, does not support the cause that you'll get the fair value that you're hoping to get up front. Usually sellers that list high and then are willing to later on, months, years on the road, they tend to get lesser qualified buyers, they tend to have a little bit of a stickier deal. More importantly, the price and the close date are not as compelling as if you had priced it officially up front. Last route is to price it under value, which I don't think we've really ever seen that. But the value prop is that most sellers that think that that's an approach is to try and convey a quick sale that garners multiple offers. In this market, I don't think it's a value because there's enough going on where as a seller, you'll be able to prevail as long as you're fair.